Thanks, everybody, being here. Um, I'd like to start out first by uh, just recognizing some people. Um, Colonel John Albertson and Lieutenant Matt Perry of the Tennessee State Highway Patrol and um, Lieutenant Sanders Watson of the Murfreesboro Police Department. Just, you know, this is the last regular season game for us and everything they've done and, and their staff in uh, keeping us safe and as we travel. I just want to recognize those guys and, and the people that work with them and uh, help us early in the morning, late at night uh, with everything they do. So I just want to thank you guys. I appreciate it. Our, our players, our team, our staff, everybody appreciates all your work and all the sacrifices that you make. So really appreciate you guys and what you've done or what you do for us and, and what you do for everybody in this country, in this community. Um, Got our last game, regular season game this week, San Antonio. Uh, again, you know, this is a team that, uh, in my opinion, has gotten better each week. You know, they're they're three and eight. You can't look at their record. Uh, they've played really well at home. You know, they had a, you know, I think they got beat thirty to three or twenty seven to three uh, to Kansas State. You know, they lost by two to La Tech, they lost by four or five to Old Dominion, they lost by three, um, you know, in another home game. So it's, uh, they play really well at home. Uh, they've got really good players. They're very athletic. Uh, they're, they present a lot of problems, uh, both schematically and with the athleticism of their players on offense and defense. I have a ton of respect for Larry Coker, their coach, and what he stands for. Uh, he's a true professional. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job in his college coaching career at every stop that he's been. So uh, I have a ton of respect for him and the, and the job that he's done everywhere that he's been, and especially now at Texas San Antonio and building this program. So. Uh, you know, this is a, a game that, uh, you know, you don't look at the record. Uh, you don't look at the record of them. We, we know this is going to be a, a dog fight. I really believe that. So we'll have to prepare this that, w that way this week to prepare to, pre prepare to play our best game. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that, that we'll have a great week of preparation. And uh, this, this journey started you know, three or four months ago back in August when we reported, and now it's, a, it's about finishing the season. Uh, we, we've accomplished, you know, a goal of, of getting to a bowl and being bowl eligible and all that, but that game's not going to be played for a while. So I want to finish this season. That's our mindset of um, let's finish this game out. So have a ton of respect for this team we're getting ready to play. Coach, I guess that answered my first question is that what was the locker room like yesterday and when you guys met? It seemed like they were more, uh, you know, focused and ready to get on to this UTSA game and understand getting that to that seventh win is, is crucial. Well, you were further away um, from our locker room than you were at FAU, so you couldn't hear it. But we celebrated uh, just as much, just as hard. We were as excited about winning that game, uh, beating North Texas as we were any game that we've had this year. So like I said last week, uh, winning is hard. It's hard to win games. And everybody wants to look at a record and think you're supposed to beat this team by so many points. And FAU had two wins going into our game. And I told everybody that it was going to be a tough ball game. And it ended up being a one score game. And then the very next week, they go to overtime with the number six, seven, eight team in the country in Florida. So winning is hard. It's hard to win games. And uh, sometimes people don't realize that or understand how hard winning is. Uh, I do, we do, and that's why we celebrate. We're going to enjoy every win. And um, but so we, we celebrated. But we understand uh, you enjoy it for 24 hours, and then when you come back to work on Sunday, you got your – You've reset the button, and it's uh, time to get focused on your next opponent. And this one is uh, 
Texas San Antonio, and that's what we did yesterday. We, I think we, we understand where we are and what we want to accomplish uh, and how we want to finish this year. So uh, I, I like our mindset of where our team is. About the the defensive consistency Saturday, did I mean obviously holding a team to seven points an entire game while having that success on offense as well? Could you evaluate the defense? Yeah, I thought we played really well. You know, uh, one of our goals, one of our objectives coming into that game was to start fast on both sides of the ball, and I thought we did that offensively and defensively. Um, you know, we got stops early. Uh, you know, we we didn't give up plays. We kept the ball in front of us. You know, we jumped out, what, 21 to nothing, I think it was. So, uh, but I thought our defense played really well. I thought our, our coaches on defense, you know, had a nice plan and are doing a good job. Our players are responding, uh, not just defensively, but this team has responded really well to what we've asked them to do. Uh, you know, they got some plays there in the, the fourth quarter, you know, when when the game was basically over and we were doing a lot of substituting. So, uh, but I'm really proud of our defense and the mindset and how, how we're playing as physical as we're playing on defense. Uh, and we're keeping the ball in front of us for the most part. Defensively, you, you had uh, KB was back, it seemed pretty full time. And uh, he got an interception to get, get the all time record here over James Griffin and also got a senior bowl invitation. Talk about the, how big a weekend he had. Uh, you know, I thought it was uh, really good. I don't think he's still 100% yet, but he's close. Uh, but it was good to have him back there. Uh, he brings a calming effect uh, to the back end of the, the, the defense. He can get us lined up uh, and get us in the right calls there when, when they – when they freeze on offense, when they make motion adjustments and shift adjustments, he can get us lined up. So it's good for him, to, good to have him back out there. Um, and then, um, you know, he got his interception uh, to break the record uh, or to have the record by himself. Uh, you know, so you're always happy when individuals, uh, you know, have success like that. But, uh, and then, the, you know, it got the Senior Bowl invitation and the East West Shrine Bowl invitation. That came to me earlier in the week, and, and I, I just held on to it. I wanted to give it to him after the game because uh, I, I didn't want any distraction. Um, you know, being the last home game, him being back, you know, playing for the first time in a while. Uh, you know, I just I, I just thought it was I'd wait till Sunday to give it to him. Uh, you know, so I gave him both those invitations, and it's a great honor for him. It's uh, to be able to, you know, be recognized by those two bowl games. You can go play in the, the Senior Bowl or the East-West Shrine Bowl. Those games have been around a long time. There's been a, a lot of good players that have played in those games, so I'm really happy for him. Also, is, with UTSA, what is it that they do well on each side of the ball that concerns you going in? Well, the big thing – they're playing really well at home. Uh, like I said earlier, they, they've had some really close losses at home. They've won the last two games. Uh, you know, they beat Rice at home. It's the first time they've ever beaten Rice. Uh, so they've won their last two. So they're, they're getting a little confidence. They're getting a little, little juice probably to them. Their jazz levels up a little bit. Uh, it's going to be senior day, senior, yeah, I guess, senior day for them. They'll recognize their seniors, so you know you're going to get their best shot. Um, they're doing a good job of uh, their quarterback is settling in, and he's uh, he runs a lot better. You know, uh, watching film here yesterday and today, he runs the ball. He runs a lot better than I thought he that he could by watching him. Just the limited limited times I saw him earlier in the year. Uh, he's accurate with the ball. He's making good decisions. Uh, obviously, he's got great skill people around him. I think their running back is special. Uh, you know, he, he's got good speed. Uh, he, he's got good wiggle. He can make you miss. I mean, he's a jitterbug back there, but he's not a 160-pound jitterbug. This is a, you know, this is a physical running back there. So their offensive line is big. So they do a good job of, of. Um, 
keeping the ball, uh, time of possession. They've done a good job of from that standpoint. So their their uh, offense, they're very balanced. Uh, they can they throw the ball well, and they can obviously run the ball really well. Defensively, they got a defensive end that's got eight sacks. Uh, their ends are really good. Uh, they're big up front on the inside. Their linebackers run pretty good. And then uh, on the back end, you know, they're leading the conference or I think tied for the conference with 14 interceptions. So uh, they're sound in the kicking game. Um, you know, so like I said, they, they've, they've been in every game. They've just had their, – their record is not indic indicative of how talented this team is. Uh, there seems to be an all too common uh, trend in college football that uh, a team gets on a roll, um, gets their bowl eligibility, and then uh, becomes complacent at the end of the year. Uh, on top of that trend, there's another trend with uh, UTSA that they have yet to lose a home finale. Uh, is there any current concern uh, with you with these trends? I'm not aware of the trends of guys getting bowl eligible and then whatever you said, shutting it down. Uh, there's a bunch of teams that have been bowl eligible for a long time, and they're still winning and doing a good job. Uh, if you're referencing to us that we're bowl eligible, are we going to relax? Are we going to let our guard down? Heck no, I can promise you that. We gotta have a, we'll have a great edge when we tee that thing off Saturday afternoon. We'll have a great week of practice. Uh, you know, our, Like I said last week or after the game, getting bowl eligible was not our goal. And so... We haven't accomplished our goal yet. Yeah, we know we're going to a bowl game. We know that. But uh, this team will not let its guard down. We, we'll, we'll have our edge. Uh, you know, I'm not worried. I, haven't, I didn't know that they haven't lost their final game, whatever, uh, because we didn't play those guys then. All I'm worried about is this team that we're playing and our team that we're going to come in there with. I can't. What they did last year in their last home game, the year before, the year before, all that, I can't control that. That was some other team. I'm just focused on this team that we're getting ready to play and this team that will come in there wearing the, the light-colored jerseys. You mentioned that as far as getting balance on offense, you'd like to see this team rush for like 125 to 150 yards a game. You did that around that this game. Uh, what did you see out of your running backs to help keep this offense balanced against North Texas, and what will they have to do against UTSA, the same thing? You know, again, I, I, we make such a big deal out of this. I, I don't understand, but, you know, we ran the ball all right. You know, I thought Shane, you know, ran the ball good. I think Jordan had some good runs. I think, you know, we just don't need to run for 30 yards. We don't need to run for 60 yards. Anytime you can run the ball, it helps you uh, not be so one-dimensional. And uh, at times this year, we couldn't run the ball. At times against North Texas, we didn't run the ball good enough. Uh, at times we did. And um, so we, we just have to – I don't look at those stats after the game and say, yep, got 125 yards. Yep, got 150 yards. That's great. I don't look at, yep, we threw for 300. That's great. I don't look at that stuff. The objective is to win the game and do whatever. It, if we have to throw for 500 and win, we'll do it. If we have to run for 500 and win, we'll do it. That's the objective. Uh, yes, you would like, we're going we're gonna to throw more. We're going to pass more. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to have more than more of that than running yards. But we just have to be able to uh, stay on blocks better. We played two freshman linemen last week against North Texas. Uh, you're playing two running backs that still aren't completely healthy. Uh, you know, so we're still a work in progress uh, there. But we we just have to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, you know, uh, and I thought Shane had some nice runs. I thought Jordan had a couple nice runs. We just have to uh, be more consistent in our blocking, be more consistent in running the ball as a runner. 
you know, and we're, we're doing a good job blocking on the perimeter. We got to stay on blocks a little bit better uh, up front, uh, you know, and and Jordan and Shane, you know, haven't played much this year. I mean, I'm sure at the end of the day they have, but it just doesn't seem like because they've been hurt so much, uh, you know, and then Dez, you know, hasn't played much and got hurt. So um, we just, I don't even know if I'm answering your question, but uh, we, we just have to, you know, be able to run the ball effectively. You know, he, he's, he's, I'm not going to say he's fine because you don't have an injury like that and say he's fine, but there's nothing uh, physically, you know, that you're worried about. He doesn't have to have surgery or anything like that. So he got released from the hospital Friday or Saturday night, went over there and saw him, and uh, they released him Saturday. Uh, he's out of the, you guys probably saw I put him in a neck brace and on the board taking him off. He was out of the neck brace Saturday when he left. He walked out. He didn't wasn't in a wheelchair. He walked out. Mom and dad took him home. Um, you know, he's at meetings, everything, training room yesterday. He's already been there today. So he's just a little set, stiff, a little sore right now. Uh, but he, he should be able to, you know, resume all activities here. You know, whether it's this week or next week or next month or whatever, I don't know the timetable on that. But he's, from a health standpoint, thank the good Lord, he's, he's going to be okay.